Instead of jumping to Aku or Cataclysm like 99% of players, why not check out one of these lesser known levels? I've already completed 4 out of the 5 levels in this video, so I can give pretty good feedback on the gameplay. The first level is Snowdrift. It starts off with some hard cube timings in the first 16%, but after that it's pretty much free. From 17 to 100, all you really have to worry about is getting past the choke points. Being this 42% click, the 53% swoop, and the 67 to 70, there's like some dumb cube stuff, like what is this? But after that you've like basically beaten it. The last ship is like kinda annoying, but it's not too bad once you get consistent at it. The next level is Hidden in the Sand. It uses the song Hidden in the Sand by Tally Hall, and it's actually so good. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the level, but a lot of other people enjoyed it though, giving a rating of 76.56 on the Extreme Demon Enjoyment list, which is pretty high. It's another level you can learn very quickly. My problem with this level is the moving objects being pretty distracting, but that's probably just a me thing. Like Snowdrift, there's some dumb stuff, like this 37% blue orb, this jump at 74, and the 95% ship, but it's still a good level overall. This next level is my favorite extreme in the game, to a P.E.K.K.A, to a P.E.K.K.A, I don't know. From the gameplay to the decoration and the song, oh my god, it's so good. It is so good. The first ship was a bit wonky when I started playing it, but everything else was like nearly flawless. The decoration in the foreground can be a bit distracting, but I promise it gets consistent. And you may ask, if I love the level so much, why did I put it at number 3 instead of number 1? Since the level is medium length, it might be a bit too much to handle for a new player, but I'm telling you it's worth it, this level is actually amazing. And coming in at number 2, we have Any%. Percent. This is an incredible level by Awesome Me 360 It was released 2 years ago, but because it took a while to get rated, it didn't really get the recognition it deserved. Personally, I haven't beaten this level, but from the runs I did, I can say it's incredible. The community gave this level an enjoyment rating of 89.37, which is the 11th most enjoyed extreme in the game. It uses a Camellia song and the gameplay flows very well with it. I recommend checking this one out. Right before we get to number 1, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. These levels are great in their own ways, but don't really match the criteria I had in mind for this list. Once again is a more recently made 2.0 styled level. It has fun gameplay, amazing sync, and it has an enjoyment rating of 86.56 from the people that beat it. Lost Love is a memory demon that has one of my favorite songs from any extreme. I don't like memory levels personally, but this one sticks out. It got an enjoyment rating of 82.80 and places at number 69 on the enjoyment list, as well as being in the top 50 easiest extremes in the game. Zoom is another really good awesome Me 360 level. Just like any percent, it's a fast paced extreme placing a number 6 on the enjoyment list. If you can click fast, this one's for you. At the number 1 spot we have Precipitance. This is the most popular level on this list, sitting just under 78,000 downloads. And it's also the oldest level on this list being made in March 2020. I believe anyone that tries this level and really puts in the effort can beat it. At the time of writing the script, it's placed at 886 on the Aretal, which is the ninth lowest level in the game. For being such an easy extreme and being so fun, I'm surprised this level went so unnoticed. The balancing is overall pretty good. The hardest part is probably the 64% wave and the 78% ball. Otherwise, playing this level from zero was a blast. This is the most consistent extreme demon I've ever played and getting far is quite common, so I recommend it to new players. Hey guys, this is my first real attempt at a video essay. Even though the idea was pretty bland and unoriginal, I still hope you enjoyed it. I'm still testing out what I'm comfortable with and what kind of videos I can make. This video was more of a test to see what I can and can't do. Wasn't supposed to be perfect, just something good enough. Anyways, thanks for the views guys. See ya.